Welcome at our superfood channel for cats. Today we will look into the matter of lumps, bumps and abscesses in cats. My name is Rob. I am author of dozens of pet books sold in more than 25 countries. If you have any questions or remarks or additions, leave a comment and I will respond. Ever noticed a lump or bump on your feline friend? Discovering such abnormalities can leave you feeling quite distressed and rightly so. These lumps and bumps can mean a variety of things, from harmless abscesses to possibly serious tumours. Cats, like us humans, can develop various types of skin conditions, and it's important to understand what these could signify. After all, these curious creatures depend on us for their well-being. Knowing how to distinguish between these conditions is crucial in ensuring we provide the appropriate care and treatment. The lumps could be due to a simple infection or they could indicate something more severe such as a tumour, and while some tumours are benign, others can be malignant and potentially life-threatening, but fear not. With the right information and prompt action, you can navigate these situations effectively. So let's delve deeper into these lumps and bumps you might encounter on your cat. First up, let's talk about abscesses. An abscess is a localized pocket of pus that develops due to a bacterial infection. Cats, being territorial creatures, often get into scuffles and those resulting bites or scratches can lead to abscesses. These present as swollen, painful lumps beneath the skin, which might feel warm and could even discharge pus or fluid. In addition to these, signs of an abscess may also include redness, inflammation and obvious discomfort for your feline friend. Now, when it comes to treating abscesses, the process typically involves draining the pus and administering antibiotics to wipe out the infection. In more severe cases, surgical intervention might be needed to thoroughly clean the affected area and remove any dead tissue. But fear not, with prompt treatment most abscesses can be resolved successfully, nipping the underlying infection in the bud. Moving on, let's discuss tumours, both benign and malignant. Benign tumours are non-cancerous growths that typically grow slowly and do not spread to other parts of the body. They can vary in texture from firm to soft and may or may not cause discomfort to the cat. However, their presence should not be overlooked as they can still cause problems depending on their size and location. In contrast, malignant tumours are a cause for serious concern. These are characterised by uncontrolled growth and the potential to metastasize or spread to other tissues and organs in the body. They may present as irregularly shaped masses that increase in size rapidly over time. Depending on the type of cancer, your feline friend may also experience other symptoms such as weight loss, lethargy and changes in appetite. It's important to understand that while benign tumours are generally less threatening than malignant ones, they can still cause discomfort and health issues for your cat. On the other hand, malignant tumours can be life-threatening and require immediate attention. The type, size and location of the tumour can greatly affect your cat's health. While a small benign tumour might not cause any issues, a large one could interfere with your cat's normal bodily functions. Similarly, a small malignant tumour could potentially lead to serious health complications if not treated promptly. So, how do we figure out what kind of lump it is? Well, it's a process that often starts with a thorough physical examination by a veterinarian. They may feel the lump to determine its size, shape and texture and observe your cat's behaviour for any signs of discomfort. If the lump remains a mystery, more advanced diagnostic tests may be required. Fine needle aspiration, for instance, involves extracting a small sample of cells from the lump for microscopic examination. This can provide valuable information about the nature of the lump. A biopsy, on the other hand, involves removing a small piece of tissue from the lump for a more detailed analysis. Once a diagnosis is made, the treatment options may include surgical removal of the tumour, chemotherapy, radiation therapy, or a combination of these. The choice of treatment largely depends on the type of lump, its location, and the overall health of your cat. The prognosis for cats with tumours depends on various factors, including the type of cancer, and the overall health of the cat. Cats diagnosed with cancer may benefit from a tailored diet and supplementation plan to support their overall health and well-being. Several sources online recommend a high-protein, low-carbohydrate and grain-free diet for all cancer patients. It is believed that feeding a low-carbohydrate diet decreases fuel for cancer cells, and such a diet provides more energy in the form of fats and proteins for the cat. While proper veterinary care and treatment are essential, Certain foods, superfoods, herbs and supplements may offer additional support. Here are some options to consider. 1. 
High quality protein. Ensure your cat receives a diet rich in high quality protein sources, such as lean meats, chicken, turkey, or fish, to support muscle maintenance and immune function. Two, omega-3 fatty acids. Omega-3 fatty acids found in fish oil supplements may have anti-inflammatory properties and support joint health. They can also help maintain a healthy coat and skin. Three, antioxidant rich foods. Incorporate antioxidant rich foods into your cat's diet, such as blueberries, spinach, and kale. These foods may help combat oxidative stress and support the immune system. 4. Medicinal Mushrooms Certain medicinal mushrooms such as reishi, matake and turkey tail have been studied for their potential anti-cancer properties and immune boosting effects. Consider adding mushroom supplements formulated for pets to your cat's diet. 5. Turmeric Turmeric contains curcumin, a compound with anti-inflammatory and antioxidant properties. It may help reduce inflammation and support overall health. Look for cat-friendly turmeric supplements or consider adding a small amount of turmeric powder to your cat's food. 6. Green tea extract. Green tea extract contains polyphenols, which have antioxidant properties. Studies suggest that green tea extract may have anti-cancer effects and could potentially help inhibit the growth of tumors. However, consult your veterinarian before giving green tea extract to your cat, as it may not be suitable for all cats. 7. Probiotics. Probiotics are beneficial bacteria that support gut health and immune function. Consider adding a high-quality probiotic supplement specifically formulated for cats to support their digestive health during cancer treatment. 8. Vitamin and mineral supplements. Ensure your cat receives adequate levels of essential vitamins and minerals, such as vitamin E, vitamin C and selenium, which play important roles in immune function and overall health. Consult your veterinarian for guidance on appropriate supplementation. 9. Hydration support. Encourage your cat to stay hydrated by providing fresh water and wet food, which has higher moisture content than dry kibble. You can also consider adding bone broth or low-sodium chicken broth to your cat's diet to increase fluid intake. 10. Consultation with a veterinary nutritionist. Consider consulting with a veterinary nutritionist to develop a personalized nutrition plan tailored to your cat's specific needs and condition. They can provide expert guidance on diet, supplements and feeding strategies to support your cat's overall health and quality of life during cancer treatment. Always consult your veterinarian before making any significant changes to your cat's diet or supplementation regimen, especially if they have been diagnosed with cancer or are undergoing cancer treatment. Your veterinarian can provide personalized recommendations based on your cat's individual health status and medical history. So, what's the takeaway here? Discovering lumps or bumps on your feline friend can be alarming, but remember they can range from harmless abscesses to more serious tumors. Regardless of the cause, prompt attention from a vet is crucial. The key is to not panic. Benign tumors are common and even malignant ones can be managed with early detection. Remember, early detection and treatment are critical for addressing any underlying issues and providing your cat with the care they need to thrive. If you found this video helpful or interesting, show some appreciation by hitting the like button and subscribing for more. This helps us a lot so we can make more informative videos about cats. We are working on a group of channels around superfood and health in pets and animals. The first three channels are about horses, rabbits and this channel about cats. There are already hundreds of interesting videos. We will be creating more. You can find the links in the description below. We hope to see you there.